Why are NASA lying to us? Why are they being economical with the truth? In fact, actually making up complete bollocks. There's been nothing like Osiris Rex in NASA's repertoire. I like to call it the Daredevil spacecraft. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lift off of Osiris Rex, its seven year mission to boldly go to the asteroid venue and back. Six years ago, this audacious mission blasted off into deep space. It successfully rendezvoused with asteroid Bennu, sent down a probe, collected samples, and brought them back to Earth. Landing in a military test area in Utah, NASA told us that Project Osiris had brought back samples that could reveal the mystery of the birth of Earth and maybe you. For six years at the Johnson Space Center, the Osiris mission was practicing with polystyrene balls. What they were hoping would happen, and did happen, is that the spacecraft would bring back samples, they would lift the lid and take out these mysterious space rocks to reveal the mystery of life itself, and it didn't happen. Instead, we got these headlines. Um, we can't open the lid. What? They can't open the lid? Oh, come on, Lockheed Martin built it. You can see that there's six cap head screws holding the lid on. Why are they lying to us? For some reason, and there's probably good science, but I don't like this lack of transparency. They must have had a, a meeting because they're being hassled by the press. What's inside the capsule? What they could have just said is 250 grams of space rocks, and that would have ended it. But instead, they lied. Why? They're hiding something. I can imagine what actually happened. They know there's some reason why they don't want to open the capsule. Probably a biohazard. And they had a meeting in a small conference room. Uh, I think it was conference room three. I don't know. I'm making this up, of course. Where Lockheed Martin, NASA, space people all got together and said, the press really want to know what's in it. And we can't tell them because we can't open it. But we can't say why. Anybody come up with a good idea that we can tell the press? Oh, yeah, you at the back? Oh, Lockheed Martin don't have an Allen key. Um, uh, Lockheed Martin? Yeah, 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 of course you can open it. Um, any other ideas? No? All right, we'll go with that. And then they printed these headlines. We can't get the effing lid off. Uh, it's such a good reason for me to use this word. Bollocks. <laughs> now, honestly, what are they not telling us? The only thing I can think of, it's a bit like the Andromeda strain. Remember when Scoop brought back a weird bug that landed in Piedmont and the local doctor had an Allen key, opened up the capsule and everybody died when their blood turned to powder. The capsule was taken to wildfire underneath the desert in a secret laboratory where they isolated the aliens. But unfortunately, it mutated and started eating plastic. It broke the seal and the fail-safe device of the atomic bomb was going to blast. Oh, but you can't do that because they discovered that the alien bug fed on energy. But what killed it in the end? Oh, it drifted out to sea, and it rained, and then it dissolved in the Pacific seawater. So how do you fix real big problems in science fiction movies? So you've got a robot that's going to kill the Earth. Oh, that's easy. You give its brain a paradox until it blows up because it can't compute. How do you fix your engines when nothing you can do can actually get them to work? Oh, that's easy. You go into the battery compartment and you reverse the polarity. <laughs> And how do you kill aliens who come to Earth? Well, they all catch the common cold. And the ultimate thing that Johnson Space Center and NASA really should be doing with the Osiris capsule is dropping it in the sea. Because we know that kills alien bugs. Why today are NASA not being transparent? They could tell us the truth. But what is it? 
So I think that's an interesting story. Hopefully you enjoyed it too, because it is actually quite revealing about the lack of transparency for NASA. But I've got a very important announcement and I'm not NASA. I tell you the truth. We are about to reveal who, what, why, when and where happened at Rendlesham Forest. We've been working on it for over four years and I want you to watch it, but 102 subscribers, there's my plaque to prove it, don't get notifications from YouTube. Probably they're shadow blocking me for economic reasons because flying sources don't sell advertising. That's what they tell me. So starting today, it's a link where you can send me, if you want to, a contact address and I will email 102,000 subscribers when we produce other fascinating films. It's free of charge. I won't share your details with anybody else. Just make up a new email address that you feel happy with and I will securely email you when new films are published because the truth needs to be out there and reach you.